Isolated Phase Bus Introduction With the increase in the demand for electrical power, it was realized that it is more economical to generate power with a large unit than with several small units that could be connected in parallel. Today many coal-fired and hydroelectric power plants with unit ratings of 800 megawatts and nuclear power plants with unit ratings of 1,500 megawatts are in operation. The terminal voltage of a large alternator has reached 36 kV. With the proportional increase in the cost of the power plant, it became imperative that all components of the generating system of the power plant should be extremely reliable as even a minor disruption would incur a very heavy revenue loss. The generator connection is one of the key components that need to be extremely reliable. An increase in the unit rating implied an increase in the rated current of the generator and fault levels. A reliable generator connection had to, therefore, cater to the following challenges. Carry large current within the thermal constraints. Withstand massive electrodynamic forces during fault. Contain the magnetic field in a confined area. Eliminate phase-to-phase -phase fault. Minimize the probability of a ground fault. The development of isolated phase bus to meet these demands can be traced back to the year 1930 in the United States and subsequently in Europe. It was realized that the only way to meet the demand was to enclose each phase conductor in a separate conducting enclosure. The earliest configurations were a modification of the segregated phase bus where a conductor, two channels in box formation, was enclosed in a square, aluminium enclosure. There are stations where the generator connections have been made with open conductors with support and tie insulators at minimal spans. The product design has now been fine-tuned and now all manufacturers have opted for an aluminium cylindrical conductor and enclosure. For higher current ratings exceeding 25 kA, conductors are forced cooled to comply with thermal constraints. Description Based on the method of shielding, there are two types of isolated phase bus namely, the discontinuous or non-continuous type and the continuous type. There is a design with modification to the method of earthing of enclosure of a continuous type design through a saturable core reactor. This has not found favor with the industry. In this type of isolated phase bus, the entire run of the bus is sectionalized into smaller convenient lengths. The length of the section is limited by the constraints of installation, and more importantly, by the voltage gradient along the section. The conductor is electrically continuous while the adjacent sections of the enclosure are connected by an insulating interface. Each section of the enclosure is earthed at one end. In this system, the current in one phase A induces a voltage on the enclosure of the adjacent phase B. The resulting eddy current produces a magnetic field that opposes the magnetic field generated by the current in conductor A. Consequently, the conductor in phase B experiences a diminished magnetic field due to the shielding by its enclosure. In this type of isolated phase bus, each of the phases of the entire length is sectionalized into smaller convenient lengths for transportation and ease of installation. The adjacent sections are welded to form a continuous enclosure from one end to another. The ends of the enclosure of each phase are shorted together. The entire configuration is then earthed at one end, normally at the generator end. In this system, the current in one phase induces voltage along the length of its enclosure and a return path is available at either end. This circulating current, which is almost equal in magnitude and almost opposite in direction, produces a magnetic field that is almost equal and opposite to the one produced by the conductor. This results in a very effective shielding. The construction is exactly similar to that of the continuous type isolated phase bus except that the shorting of the enclosure is carried out through a saturable core reactor connected in series with the enclosure of each phase. Under normal operating conditions, with the enclosure insulated with respect to ground and earthed at one end, a voltage gradient exists along the length of the enclosure. The voltage developed will be proportional to the product of the enclosure current and combined impedance of the enclosure and reactor. The magnitude of the enclosure current will be significantly less than that of the conductor current, and the phase angle will be close to 180 degrees. The marginal variation from the ideal condition of 180 degrees is due to the resistive component of the enclosure and reactor. A saturable core reactor is installed that is designed to operate at the knee point voltage of the reactor during normal operating enclosure currents. Under normal operation, such an arrangement will limit the enclosure currents and consequently the enclosure losses to a considerable extent. Under fault, the enclosure voltage rises and the reactor saturates. It provides a low impedance path for the enclosure currents and will offer shielding under short circuit conditions. Such a system, 
though patented, has not been put into commercial operations. Thank you. Mr. Balachandran graduated with a bachelor's degree, B. Tech, in electrical engineering from the Indian Institute of Technology, Madras, India, in 1967, and obtained a master's degree, M.E., in power engineering from the Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, India, in 1970. He is a Fellow of the Institution of Engineers, i.e. India, Fellow of Institution of Engineering Technology and Chartered Engineer, i.e. T.U.K., and Life Senior Member of the Institution of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, IEEE US. He was the Founder Director of Power Gear Limited and Busbar Systems, India Limited. He has worked in manufacturing industries in India and the UK and is currently an advisor. He has engineered several busbar systems that have been manufactured and installed in various countries, including isolated phase bus for the largest hydroelectric power plant, 26 by 800 megawatts, at the Three Gorges project in China. During his professional career, he has developed and tested a range of bus products and their accessories. His area of interest also includes switchgear, instrument transformers, and power system analysis. The book, An Introduction to Busbar Systems, authored by V. Balachandran is case-bound, hardcover, size, A4, 386 pages, printed on 100 GSM glossy paper. Copies of the book can be purchased with a requisition to Bala at busbarsystems.net. Black and white version of the book is for sale in India, Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Nepal, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka at a cost of 4,500 Indian rupees plus freight. Color version of the book is for sale in all other countries at a cost of US dollars 126.00 plus freight.